Hey everyone, Angelo here. Welcome to another design tutorial. Today I want to show you how to duplicate objects. This is very useful if you're uh, creating a same object or text frame uh, consistently throughout your document. I'm also going to show you how to use the step and repeat uh, feature, uh, built-in feature in InDesign that also allows you to do the same process but all at once rather than doing it one at a time. So if you're working on a layout or a poster design, what have you, that requires you to copy and paste multiple objects um, throughout, this is something you don't want to do manually throughout the entire document. So these are two shortcut steps that will help you um, cut time if, you, if you're required to do something like that. So let's get started. So I just have a uh, square brochure type document here, and that's not going to matter. You can do this on any size document. Um, let's start on the left-hand page here. I'm actually just going to work on the left-hand page. I'm going to grab my type tool, and I'm just going to click, drag, and hold, and I'm going to write the word Detroit. Let's say this was a project for a Detroit magazine or something, okay? So right now it's Gotham bold italic. I actually want this Gotham black. And let's make it uh, 46 points. Something like that. By the way, if you want to resize text very quickly and efficiently, it's also shift command greater than less than as a shortcut. But obviously typing in the point size that you require is just as good. So that is good. I'm just going to double click one of my corners on my text frame here to make that box snug around my uh, my word Detroit. So let's just say I want three copies of this. I mean, you could go Command C or Control C, Command V, and then place it where you want, and then Command V, place the third one. Let's do this. I'm going to click it once with my selection tool, hold down my Option key, and drag out another copy. I want it centered on the page and you can see my smart guide light up there. You see that pink magenta line? I can go ahead and release. Now I have two copies there. If you don't have your smart guides on, this is very important to have on at all times. Go up to view, uh, grids and guides, and make sure smart guides is on. This will save you a lot of time as well, okay? So with that copied uh, text frame selected, um, how to how to quickly make another copy of that is just go up or I shouldn't say make another copy it does but it also repeats the same step that you've done previously go up to edit and duplicate and as you can see it creates uh, another copy of that all right now what I would do just to make sure that the spacing would be um, correct is I would highlight all three and then go to distribute horizontal centers um, or vertical centers and then go ahead and align that how you want it okay so there you go that's a quick way of making a step and what I could do is click this one if I wanted to do another one you could keep doing that it repeats it so duplicate 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 edit duplicate okay and a shortcut for that there is shift command option D okay now let's just say I'm just gonna get rid of these ones for now I want to create Detroit text frames all the way down my page as well okay so I would just highlight them with my selection tool collect them go up to object and group you can also right click and group and my favorite way of doing it is just command G or control G to group. Same process, I'm gonna click on it once, hold down my option key, and drag out another copy. That's okay for now. Don't worry about the spacing and uh, the dis distribution of text frames right now. I've already copied that over, so now I would go up back to edit, and I want step and repeat. If I duplicate it, that would just make one copy. But let's just say I want to do it all at once. Edit, step and repeat. Right now I have it set to eight, so it's gonna make eight extra copies. That may be too much. If it is, 
just delete them after. You may have to do this once or twice just to get it right um, where you need all your copies to be. Right now I'm just going to leave it at 8 and if it's too much I'll just delete them. So I'll 8 and then you can preview it. Okay, so I would probably need, let's try 10. And hit tab, don't hit enter or return because it would just get rid of that dialog, dialog box. So hit tab and there you go, 10 works better. So there you go, I would be happy with that. I would hit okay and there you go. That's an easy way rather than doing command C and command V and copy paste, copy paste or even doing the option alt uh, drag technique. It's all about saving time and this is a good way of doing that. So duplicate and step and repeat. Two lifesavers that can be found in edit and then the drop down there. Okay, so that was a quick tutorial on how to make the, uh, copies of things quickly and efficiently. Hope you enjoyed this tutorial and we'll talk to you soon. Take care.